Good job, Hiccup. So we'll just start with you telling me your name and how to spell your name so I can put you on, on camera. Okay, um, I'm... It's okay, it goes like with the territory so much. It's spelled exactly like the big white puppy thing. Um, I'm a dog trainer and dog walker, uh, born and raised in the Castro in San Francisco. I, right now, primarily walk dogs around the neighborhood, um, looking for, to expand my career to train service dogs eventually. Um, like my personal service dog next to me, Billy. It's yeah. Collingwood Dog Park. Um, it's a lot of good people here. It's weird and wonderful. Uh, Mostly because it's on. Collingwood Street. <laughs> I've always loved dogs. Um, I have Asperger's, so I tend to identify better, I guess, with dogs than people. They don't judge you the way some people do. It's just in their nature. I guess dogs rely much more on smell and what's around them than people. People rely more on the culture, on what's said. One of the first dogs that greeted me at the dog park was a little teacup chihuahua that decided he wanted to pee on my leg. He walked up, said hi to me, wagged his tail, peed down one leg, and walked around behind me and peed on the other one. And then sat very proudly in front of me. That was pretty fun. Um, for him. It's a lot of people like me. A lot of people here are here because they like dogs, not just because they want to be around other dog lovers. They want to pet dogs and tire their dog out. Well, Billy was found wandering up the side of the road in Mendocino, and she's an Australian Kelpie, which is a, one of the older oldest types of living dogs. Um, and when I got her, I was looking for a new service dog. I had just lost my own, my previous service dog, Xander, a Shiba Inu mix. Um, so I was looking through her profile on their website, on the Milo Foundation, and she fit all the criteria for the perfect service dog that I needed. So I went up to meet her and she jumped onto the desk and stood on the adoption papers. And I took that as a sign that I needed to sign the adoption papers and take her home. She's already saved my life three times. So. Can you tell me more about that? How has she saved your life? Um, well, I have Asperger's, so I tend to get sensory overload. Um, she's trained to block me, so that I'll, let's say, run into traffic. If I panic, then I just go into a fight or flight and just try and get out of there. So she's trained to bring me back enough so that I can remove myself from the situation and then calm down. Basically, her job is to be my best friend and be loved. She does that pretty well. Plus, who doesn't love a good puppy? So cute.